Hey y'all. Okay, this is the read on Biden. The last reading we did on Trump. And disclaimer, I am not into politics. I just want to know what's coming up. So the Magician and the High Priestess card. These two cards together really signify black magic. This is witchcraft. This is... With this card here, the Trumpet, something's going to be revived. Something's going to come back up. But this is also, I'm getting music with this. This is a lull. This is keeping the world in a lull. And, you know, it's a lullaby that puts someone to sleep. But people are waking up. People are going to be waking up and seeing the truth of what's going on. With Biden, it's not, this is a card of what's supposed to be a past relationship. It's meant to be a soulmate, but it came out in reverse. So the time the maybe the karmic time that he's been there, yeah, the time is up and it's no longer supposed to carry on that way. Look at this distribution of wealth. See all the pentacles up here? And he's making this person grovel to that person and just giving them breadcrumbs, literally. The people are asking. It looks like they're on their knees looking for money. And here he has a skill giving them not what is fair amount, not what is just due, but literally breadcrumbs. So this could signify the food shortage that a lot of people are talking about. But the truth is going to be revealed. It's been hidden. And I'm getting that there is another person here. This person right here, I'm intuitively getting that the, this, the witch is the speaker. Um, initials NP. She's holding back and she's an older woman, um, very skinny lady. She's not going to get that new beginning that she wants. Um, I believe she is a power player behind him. This is a new beginning and this is holding back from that beginning. They're going to promote it or feel, uh, make us feel as if this is right, this is justice. Maybe this could be giving people money back, giving them money every month. And some people might like that, but hey, nothing free is good. There's always a hidden agenda. But ultimately, people are going to work for it. There's going to be some exchange. And that exchange, whatever it is, whether it's time or money or freedom or putting something in your arm, whatever it is, it's going to lead to heartbreak. So we saw in the previous reading that there was abundance incoming and that people would be happy and rejoicing and back to work and the freedom to go back to work and not have to social distance and they would be happy in relationships as a result of things going on in the world. And we saw with this reading that there's a lot of hidden things. There's a controlled environment, a very controlled environment. And the last card was the card of heartbreak. So it leads to people being fooled into thinking they're going to receive something, but they're only going to receive breadcrumbs. There'll be a food shortage with this situation here, and it will lead to heartbreak. People will be saddened.